Welcome everybody and uh, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to create perfect uh, ambient occlusion within Maya. So first of all we need to actually select uh, all the geometry in our scene. So right click in an empty area and click select all. Then on click on render layers and click on the right click on the piece on the PC and click select ambient occlusion on the layer 1 so uh, and select uh, the uh, renderer to mental ray and how to uh, actually perform how to load main Maya mental ray is Maya to MR loaded check this and then uh, click on the render button and see that uh, our ambient occlusion is uh, there and now you can see that our ambient occlusion is not set proper uh, in a proper way so we need to tweak a little bit to get the perfect result and click on the hyperset option on the left lower left corner hyperset window will open then uh, search for the ambient occlusion material what we have created for this layer and click a geometry and click on the surface header uh, and it is a surface header 5 so select it and uh, double click it uh, actually drag it and click on the on this option our ambient occlusion will be, you can see this is and uh, if you if you need to increase that sample rate you can increase it uh, here we are using 32 actually 32 sample red and save it for future that now am um, I mean future like yes this is um, looking nice but not the perfect because uh, here is some noise also so we need to actually tweak a little bit and for that option uh, what we got to do is that uh, select the main occlusion slot and uh, on the max distance option and increase a little bit like 0.5 it will be fine and, and actually drag a piece up to actually compare now and before it's looking uh, fine because we have, incre we have increased the max distance option and you can, as you can see now we are rendering the whole thing and uh, looks like it is going to be nice because we need a perfect ambient occlusion and that has to be perfect uh, ambient occlusions are occlusions uh, which are placed upon a beauty pass and uh, it has to be multiplied over the beauty pass so uh, you get a nice detail shadow now you can see uh, the before and uh, after a result uh, it is uh, much more fine and you can also uh, tweak a little bit now we can use um, if we can if we, if we use uh, max distance one. Let's see how it looks. But uh, I think uh, max distance uh, 0.5 is going to be nice. It is upon you what type of ambient occlusion you need. But in our case, I think uh, 0.5 is nice. But uh, let us tweak it a little bit, uh, like 0.2 or something. And you can also change the other values, but uh, be careful. We are also in, in lo uh, lowering the value, like 20 sample of 20 and 0.3 for the max distance. And now you, you have a we have a actually uh, picture to compare. Now the middle portion and the previously portion, and look for the time it needs to calculate. It is it is not a good ambient occlusion. Bad then this I think this is going to be the perfect ambient occlusion so I think uh, uh, all of you can learn this how to do this